Hi guys, welcome to Crazy Burger. Uh, today we're looking at the uh, PlayStation Classic. Now, at the box, it really isn't very good. The emulation is really awful. Um, but notice that it's playing the games through retro art themselves and, and sort of improving the graphics through that. It actually definitely makes things better. I'm going to have a quick look at Driver. This is just on the actual Classic, and then we'll play it through uh, retro art, and I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, this has been added using the bleem sync method, um, using the sort of USB stick. There's only, I mean, I tried about two or three different um, sticks before I got the one that worked. I'll send you a link to the one that did work for me um, in the description because it, it does get frustrating when you're trying to follow the bleem sync and the USB you've got doesn't work. But anyway, let's have a look at some of the games I've added. I've got um, Driver. We're going to look at this now. This game was definitely one of the the first games I recall having like a 3D driving environment. I'm not sure it was the first, but I just remember it being pretty much different. Graphically not amazing, but it was at the time it was good fun. We'll just take a ride. Probably best during the day to see the graphical differences. So there are options using the Bleem Sync to improve some of the graphics, but I, I still think the retro art way is better. You can see this is driver right out of the box. There is a you press the sort of start and triangle, and it brings up the sort of Bleem Sync display options. Now there are filters you can change here. I'm not sure any of them do a massive lot of difference, but you can maybe see. They do help slightly. And graphically, the graphics aren't amazing. You can see it doesn't really help an awful lot. It makes it quite blocky looking. Um, but through retro art, it definitely improves uh, things a lot. So I'm going to load this now through retro art and show you what I mean. So if we go back to the main menu, we can choose uh, Retro Arc. Then we can go. You can see the, the main games that are um, loaded internally. These are the main ones. They're not the ones that I've added. Um, so you go back to the main menu up the top. Oh. We can load content, start directory, and go down to the media. and. Games. Now I can't remember what number it is. It just numbers it through one to ten and puts it in the correct order. But driver. Oh, there you go. Driver's number one. So you just choose the the bin file from from here. Go down. Choose the PlayStation Core to use, which is this one down the bottom, and it'll load driver in through this. And straight away, it'll just look as it normally does. But there's some options you can you choose. To make it look better, and it for me it does look so much better through this. Some games are a bit hit and miss. Some games do tend to go a wee bit slower with the frame rate, but you you can work around it. Okay, kind of obviously looks the same, but if we go, okay, we need to go to options or not. So we'll go down to options. Um, if you make sure like these options here, enhanced resolution, and make sure that's enabled. And also um, I find if you put the speed tag resolution just in case there's any slowdown, you make that to on. There are other options here, but I don't think any of them made a massive amount of difference. But once we go back to the game. You can see it, it does, it smooth sing things up. You look at the difference, it's not blocky. Um, I mean, it's not amazing graphics, but it does look a lot smoother than it was originally or even through the PlayStation Classic itself. I think it looks so much better. It looks smoother. I mean, sometimes there is a bit of slowdown in the frame rate though. That's the only 
problem, but it does look a lot better. And I think you can actually change it to, well, you can actually change um, so it's running a better, the NTSC version. So you can choose the region the NTSC and it can maybe improve the frame rate. Um, if we go back again. And sometimes it doesn't work like that and it, it does get a bit choppy. You see the frame rate is a little bit choppy but it definitely looks a lot better than out the box. And out the box it is so disappointing. Well, let's have a look at some of the other games that we've got. Um, so close content. Let's see what we have a look at. Let's have a look at Wipeout. Again, let's load the core. It's an absolute crying shame why this game wasn't included at the start. There's so many games that could have been included. It's crazy to think some of these weren't. So let's have a look at um, the first race. So this is Wipeout um, in Retro RetroArch and it definitely looks better than it does through the PlayStation Classic. Um, but this is a really tough game, I can't believe I used to play this non-stop. But it's so hard. You know, it's unforgiving, you hit the side and it's utter stop. Little games sort of help by when you brush against it slightly and it would be more forgiving. There was a time when I used to be good at this game. Oh, nice shot. So I think you can definitely tell that the graphics look so much better through retro art. I would highly recommend anyone that's it's done this mod to use this because as as it stands through the class it really is poor and this makes it more fun definitely makes it better to play more i mean through this it just looks awful through the standard play, uh, playstation classic guys um another thing i'd highly recommend um for the playstation classic um is this joypad um this is the 8 bit do Gamepad also looks a bit like a SNES pad, um, but it's a wireless uh, pad. It's obviously better than using the actual controllers you get with the PlayStation Classic. Obviously, they're limited. You can really need to sit quite close. With this, you can sit as far away as you want, um, and it, it really works well. You can also you can actually use the the analog sticks as well through RetroArch. You can uh, program them in. Some of the games it automatically detects them like uh, Crash Bandicoot uh, NTR Racing, which is great. Um, but you also need to purchase one of these. It's a 8-bit do wireless adapter, which plugs into the joypad port, and it picks it up really good. You can also use this with the Nintendo Switch, Xbox, PlayStation, um, which is great. Highly recommended. I'll, I'll leave a link in the description um, if anyone's interested in, in purchasing the joypad.